Right, hello everyone. This is uh, my four month update. I've got a ring light and it's uh, made me look all a little bit weird. It made me look dirty, but I haven't, you know, don't know what's going on. But anyway, as you can see, this is four months. This is gonna be a bit of a longer video today because I need to demonstrate the derma rolling process. Well, I want to show you. I've had a few people asking me on the forums how to do it. Um, so this is my first go at it as well. I've cleaned my head with my with just regular shampoo and then towel dried it as normal, just making sure I get rid of all the any oil and dirt and grime that might be in the hair. So if you can see, this is the area I'm going to do up to about here, which is the transplanted area. I don't want to touch this bit at the moment because it needs to carry on growing by itself and I don't want to do any damage to any grafts. Um, so I'm going to be doing up to about this point, which you can see where my, hair, my, my native hair is starting to come in a bit more. It's starting to close up now, so I'm going to be coming probably maybe a bit further back, maybe into the hairline here, just to um, hopefully um, regrow some of that native hair and on the sides here as well, but no further than that line there. So I've got a 0 0.75 mil derma roller and I'll be doing a few strokes, five, five strokes down this way, all the way along, and then maybe five, and then move up, five across horizontally, and then we're gonna do diagonally as well a little bit, just so I can get as many holes, punctures in the head as possible. Um, and then we'll be applying my DUT mesotherapy, a whole two mil uh, pipette, Applying it all over the area, you can do it all over anyway, and then I'll be I'll rub it in gently and let it dry, and that's literally it. So I've sterilised my dermarola, my 0.75 dermarola with alcohol, 70% alcohol, um, and yeah, let's go for it. I've never done this before, so I'm not really sure where I'm going to go from, but we'll give it a go. Feel too bad so far. Can't even tell if I'm doing it right or not. So I'm doing it forward and lifting it up because you don't want to pull out any hairs. <sighs> Doesn't really feel like anything, just a little bit of a sting, I suppose. It's got a bit of a squeak to this one. I'm going to do it into the native hair where there's actually quite a bit of hair there because I want that to thicken up as well. But mainly this crown area. Okay, so I think that's probably enough doing it that way. I'm not going to look in the camera now because I need to be able to see what, kind of feel what I'm doing. Give it a bit of pressure, not too much. You don't want to damage any, do any new damage. But I feel as though that must be working. Five, one, two, three, I'm not even counting, have I? Four, five, a bit further in. This is my first time. Two, three, four, five. And I'm going to do it diagonally as well, so have, let's see if I've got any. Make sure you don't get any, catch any hairs. You might catch one or two, but they'll grow back. Five there. I'll we'll get right back to the back there as well. Excuse the funny faces. I pull faces when I'm doing, when I'm concentrating. So anyway, just trying to make as many little holes as possible without you should get, obviously you want to get some redness, but as you can see, I've got quite a bit of hair growing now, so I can't really tell. I'm not going to be able to tell whether 
it's actually working or not, but you, I mean, I can feel it's doing something. So anyway, excuse the very uh, naff commentary, but I'm just trying to get as much of it in as possible. You only have to do it for a few minutes or so, five strokes per bit, but I'm just getting a bit of extra because I feel like I'm missing some bits. In that native hair there. Okay. I think that'll be enough. So, I'm now derma rolled all the area whilst I'll just let it settle for a second. I got these two new bottles for my mesotherapy. So I've got my topical detasteride, 0.1%. I do this Monday, Wednesday, Friday um, without any derma rolling because um, your skin doesn't, it's, it's not great for the skin. You, you can gradually add two or three days a week, but for now it's the beginning of it also. Yeah. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, massage that into my hair, the affected area and the native area where I want it to regrow. So that's, that's three times a week. And then this is the DUT Mesotherapy 1, which is uh, what I'm going to apply today. And I'm going to be applying it on the back, but I can rub it all over and I'll do a whole, a whole uh, pipette of it. So that's two mil. Um, this just basically the derma roller, as you know probably already, will help you uh, help the DUT sink into your scalp quicker and get to the follicles quicker. I'll be doing this once a week for the next couple of months until my next surgery, and I'll let you know quickly. It's been four months, and as you can see, the hairline is already looking great, and there's already a lot of regrowth um, quite early on. So month five is where you're supposed to see huge amount of change but I'm already seeing great change. I've got a ring light on my head as well which obviously helps thin out the hair and as you can see it's actually looking quite good. So without the light on it's still looking pretty good. So yeah right so now what I'm gonna do my uh tutorial videos will get better so like again like I said this is my first time. So DUC Mesotherapy. It's in a little pipette like this. Make sure you squeeze it all out first, get all the air bubbles out and whatnot. Also, wash your hands straight away after doing this so you don't get any um, any contact with anyone else. And if you've got, you know, you just want to make sure you keep yourself clean. It's not always easy to get to fill the whole bloody thing up. What I'll do is I'll do it in two halves, look. Someone's actually asked me on my last video if, if I could show my native, my donor area, which I will do. So as you can see, that's half a, half a pipette. I'm just gonna put it all over the back where I've just done it and all over this bit here. Use your other hand to rub it in. Make sure you don't drip too much, which I just did. So, so far, it doesn't feel too bad. Tiny, tiny bit of stinging. But that's only because, well, that's because I've just punctured a load of holes in my head. Okay. Give your face a wash as well. If any runs down your face and everything, don't worry too much, but just give yourself a bit of a wash down after. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a little bit more and then rub it all over the head. So another half of a pipette, that's two mils, so that's all you need. You fill up a two mil tube three times a week without derm rolling. And then the Sunday, I choose Sunday because it's just the day of rest and I just like to, I've got nothing else to do. So it takes a bit of time to do this. So really get it in there, really rubbing it in. It does sting a little bit, but it doesn't feel any worse than, I don't know, maybe like a little bit of a paper cut, but I've obviously made holes in my head. So <laughs> fingers crossed I haven't gone too deep. But 0 0.75 is fine. You shouldn't do any damage to any hair. I might go for a slightly smaller one, my order of 0.5, or I might get a derma pen. Derma pens are a little bit better. They're a bit more accurate, and you know you kind of know what you get. You know where you're going with that. Leave that in there. So again, really rubbing it in, making sure I get all that lovely DUT into my scalp. Okay. So what I'll do quickly now is I did have someone asking me about my donor area. My hair's obviously grown out now. I'm going to grow it. I'm going to continue to grow my hair 
until um, my next surgery, which is going to be in beginning of December, I believe. So that's another two months, which I should see a substantial change in my my transplanted area and all here. But this part, particularly, I'm trying to close up so I don't have to have too many grafts in it. But I'll just do a little quick spin for you. You can see that the back. That's the donor area. Looking pretty good. I've got very dark, quite thick hair, so I've got a fair few grafts that can be used again. Anyway, so that is my little video showing you an update of them. This is my four months uh, and my first time <laughs> doing the derma roller. Amazon, seven quid, I think. You know, you have to replace them like a toothbrush every every two or three months. That's what they say anyway. But just make sure you clean it. I'm going to clean it after as well with alcohol. People say you can do boiling water, so that's fine. I just got the alcohol because I just felt like I wanted to do it with that. I'll stick it in some alcohol now and then rinse it off with boiling water after. Um, eventually, um, I'll add maybe a longer one, depend or just do it two or three times a week, um, depending on how I feel. Let's see how this goes first because we don't know how my skin's going to react. But anyway, should have probably done a test on my hand first. That's what you're told to do. But classic me, I didn't. So yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. Anyway, four months, feeling very happy with this. I reckon I'm about 30% full growth, maybe 25, 30%, which is unreal. So I'm gonna let that dry in my hair now and then get on with my day. Wash your hands, keep yourself clean, have a good day. D-U-T.